What's going on YouTube? Giasno right here. So in today's video I have massive news coming from the Pangu Jailbreak team. They have released one of the most important vulnerabilities to date and that is a SEP vulnerability and of course a paper describing how to hack on SEP. SEP being of course the secure enclave processor which is a component on iOS which prevents us today from doing downgrades and stuff like that. So you probably remember the Pangu Jailbreak team but if you're new to the channel or if you're new to the Jailbreak community you may not. They to make jailbreaks in the past. The iOS 9 series of jailbreaks were made by them and the iOS 7 jailbreaks, the iOS 8, they were actually pretty active and they used to do pretty good jailbreaks including untethered jailbreaks. Well they haven't been active in the jailbreak community for a while but this year at Mosaic or Mobile Security Conference 2020 they announced something astonishing and if you check out in here the schedule they were of course scheduled to talk about attack secure boot of SEP. So basically as I said SEP stands for Secure Enclave processor and it's Apple's most secure component of iOS. It actually stayed completely impossible to hack ever since it was introduced back on A7, so basically on iPhone 5S. So it stayed for years completely impossible to hack until this year Pangu successfully did it and this is actually incredible and nothing will ever be the same again for downgrading. So as you can see here they were talking about a SEP or secure enclave processor attack and stuff like that and they finally released that publicly. Now if you remember they also demonstrated a jailbreak back at the Mosaic and it was a jailbreak for the iOS 14. So they are clearly very active in the jailbreak community still even though they didn't release this jailbreak at least not for the moment this was back on July 24 but they did indeed achieve a jailbreak on iOS 14 and it's not based on Checkmate. This one actually was based on a TFP0 kernel exploit because this was on an iPhone 11. But today researcher Winnown, part of the Pango team, posted quote, enjoy Blackbird. That's red. Anyways, he posted a link in here for a PDF file called Attack Secure Boot of SEP. And this is what they actually presented at Mosaic 2020. So this contains everything you need to know about the vulnerabilities they found in SEP, how you can exploit them and on which devices. This sets a very important step for downgrading. Because if we can load any SEP we want, this means that we can finally use Future Restore to perform downgrades with SHSH blobs, even down to iOS 12 or iOS 13.0 or 11 or 8 or 9 or whatever you want. So this is going to be pretty pretty cool. And what they did in here or basically what they managed to achieve with their research is to actually load arbitrary SEP. So basically any SEP they want they can load it on those vulnerable devices and therefore downgrades would be possible if somebody takes this research and creates a proper tool. Now this is going to be very very good for jailbreaks as well because this enables us to no longer care about SEP compatibility and stuff like that. Now during their talking here they talk about the secure boot of iPhone, they talk about the order you know secure room, IBSS, IBEC or LLB, iBoot, kernel, stuff like that. They also talk a little bit about Axiom Access exploit, the checkmate and then they talk about the SEP hardware. Now for many many years the SEP or secure enclave processor was like a black box. Nobody knew exactly what it has, how it works because it's actually very separated from the system. So it's impossible to actually hack it on newer devices and it was actually impossible to hack it even on older devices right until now when they released this. So they talk about the hardware part of the SEP because it is hardware, it's basically in a chip. But then of course they also talk about the boot process and they get to the important part. You finally get this section called attack surfaces and this is important. Here Pangu talks about what are the important components that can be attacked in order to attack SEP itself. And they talk in here about vulnerable devices and especially about how to do this. So basically they figured out that the A8, A9 and A10 devices have SEPs that are indeed vulnerable. And in here on those devices which include the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 6S, 6S Plus, 6 and stuff like that and all these devices in here can actually boot a custom SEP which would make downgrading very very easy in the future. So what they managed to do Quote, we could now read and write SEP memory. This is massive. The SEP memory was always completely separated, completely isolated from the rest of the system. It was like a black box that nobody had access to, locked at hardware level and stuff like that. So to be able to read and write the SEP memory is like opening the Fort Knox vault. And they managed to do this 
which is incredible and of course will help a lot the jailbreak community and the downgrade community. And basically at the end of their talking here, they talk about the fact that the A8, A9 and A10 devices are indeed vulnerable, the A7 and A11 are not vulnerable but the failure results are different and the consequence is that on A8 and A9 you can load arbitrary SEPOS which means basically very easy downgrade in the future and on A10 you can do a replay attack which again can indeed be used for something very useful for downgrades. So what they posted in here is actually very very useful, very important, it's the first time we get any sort of vulnerability ever in the history of SEP and SEP as I said was introduced back when iPhone 5s was introduced. So for years the SEP was completely impossible to break or to hack and these guys in here managed to do just that and they posted this publicly which is very very cool. So actually thanks to Pango for making this publicly available, this is incredibly useful research that will definitely shape the future of downgrades and jailbreaks. So yeah, that's basically it guys, you can find Pango's research in the description down below if you want to check it out. I definitely recommend you to do so if you are interested in iOS security, it's definitely cool and it's a worldwide premiere. So yeah, thank you for watching, I am Geosnow, till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.